Hello everybody, welcome to another live stream from Vladimir, Russia. Today we are in Vladimir. Well, we just decided to start the uh, live stream and here it started the rain. But it seems like it's not going to be a long-term rain. Hello everybody who are just joining. Those who will watch this as the uh, video, not as the uh, live stream, you remember that you may not watch the whole video, just use uh, the re rewinds, the fast forwards. Hi everybody, Sergey Baklikov, Albina Baklikova and Victoria, my daughter and my wife, we are here in Vladimir now. We will start going in like, I guess, several minutes. Well, actually, we already can go. Hello everybody and don't forget to give like. Oh and super chats too. Lodge a bit. Hope the weather will be okay for you watching while having dinner now. Pretty good. Thank you. Okay, let's get it started. Давайте потихонечку пойдем, мне кажется, он уже какой-то ни о чем. Now uh, we are in the historical city center of uh, Vladimir. This is the final town in our full uh, golden ring. Golden Ring of Russia trip. Sergiev Passat, Perislavl, Zaleski, Rostov the Great, Yaroslavl, Kostroma, Ivanovo, Suzdal is behind. Now the final eight city town is Vladimir. Only 30 kilometers from Vladimir. You know, Vladimir. Uh, is related to the history of Suzdal, and Suzdal is related to the history of uh, Vladimir. In an ancient Russia, uh, there was a huge Vladimir and Suzdal great principality. Whoa, Lime Roman! Thank you so much! Thank you so much! Big time! Big time! Thank you so much, um, Liam Ruman. Thank you so much. Huge time. Huge time, big Huge time. time. Look, here on the square before the uh, regional Published? academic theater, here is uh, the uh, singing fountain. And look, uh, the guys, the kids don't care about the rain. Look. Even when here is no rain, they are all ghosts into the fountain. Amazing uh, atmosphere. Yeah, big time, big time. Uh, Vika would love too, but... But yeah, but yeah. She have uh, just a sneakers and we don't have uh, towels. You know, it seems like many parents coming here already being prepared for this One so they have a towels and they have uh, um, they have uh, like the second clothes to change yeah they are enjoying their time big time huge time whoa 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 uh, this, this, the uh, composition is over and uh, fountain got off but now the next the next composition will start and uh, here will be an action again <laughs> that's Vladimir Saturday night or Friday oh Friday Friday night Yes, 
Now it's a waltz, waltz of uh, written by Russian composer Evgeny Doga. Big time. Областной академический театр. Давай, вальс. Эдвард Тернер, big time, another What? great tour. Thanks for the big effort. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys are so crazy. Thank you so much. Huge time for this super chats. Thank you. Yeah, big time. Oh my god. Thank Mary, you so Mary much. Billings, Mary Billings. Thank you. Thank you too. Wow, you guys, you guys so generous today. Yes. Vladimir. Big time! Whoa, big time! <laughs> Hello, Valeria! Hello, Ivan! Все, Вика, пошли. Я бы вот если бы кроссовки снять, то я бы могла туда пойти. Come on, dudes. Okay, after after this absolutely awesome, awesome beginning, awesome beginning, you know, the atmosphere is just just great. I would stay there maybe for another <coughs> I would stay there maybe for another like at least 10-20 minutes but yeah need to go need to go because many other stuff to show now this is the Golden Gate yes that's the Golden Gates of, of uh, Vladimir Russia this is uh, the entrance to the most significant parts of Vladimir An ancient Vladimir. Call Mark Tarmak. Thank you, thank you. Too. You're welcome. I'm glad to give this amazing, this amazing trip to you. So, Golden Gates.
Golden Gates of uh, Vladimir. You know, actually, it had two functions. The first function is just to show you're entering to the great principality, Vladimir and Suzdal principality. So, like, in the most significant part. And uh, the second fu function is actually um, for a defense. Because back then, uh, you could expect an ethics every time. And actually, in 1238, Vladimir was attacked big time with a Mongols, with a golden horde. So now, same as like thousand years ago, we are entering to the city, walking almost, yeah, walking through the gates. Now we'll get through the gate, we'll go through the gates. Golden gates of Vladimir. Vladimir, one of the oldest towns of Russia, founded in uh, 990s year or by another version in 1108 okay let's go inside dudes dudes please wait okay thank you here is zebra no traffic lights so dudes Dudes, now, same as, same as, like, hundreds and hundreds years ago, we are entering this city through the golden, golden gates. Big time. Okay, waiting for these guys to photograph, and then we'll go. Golden Gates, constructed in 1164. Getting inside, getting inside. Inside of the historical Vladimir. Большая Московская, a Grand Moscow Street. Whoa, big time. You're on, on, on your maximum. Ah, uh, no. now we are maximally charged with a mood. So, are you high? <laughs> are you high? Okay. Okay. Through the golden gates of Vladimir. Same as the guy almost a thousand years ago. We've got to the town. The town of Vladimir. Amazing town. Historical, cultural, real Russian. City. Town, town. Ah, town, yes, town. Well, town, city. The Celtic Alpen Jean, Switzerland. Big golden time. Thanks, Sergey family. Thank you. You're welcome and thank you too. Thank you too. So, welcome to Vladimir. We've got inside of the historical city. Большая Московская. Big Moscow Street. Yes, Grand Grand Moscow. Uh, yes, yeah, Grand Moscow Street. Yes. And uh, look, look, uh, I'm sure that this street had all chances to be like another Lenin Street or Lenin Avenue, but they decided to leave it with just with the historical name, Grand Moscow Street. Which is amazing.
Vladimir. Vladimir, the town with a population of 357,000 residents. It's only 30 kilometers from absolutely amazing, beautiful Suzdal. Suzdal, where we have been yesterday. Suzdal. Vladimir, now this is uh, the uh, center, uh, we would say the capital of uh, Vladimir region of Russia, which is bordering with Moscow region. It's only 190 kilometers east from Moscow. So this is the final town in our uh, Golden Ring tour. The town eight out of eight official towns of uh, the Golden Ring of Russia. Big time, big time. So we keep walking Grand Moscow Street together with Victoria and Albina. This seems like a movie theater, художественный. So now this is the center of uh, Vladimir region of Russia. But uh, back in those days, in 12th and 13th century, it was the capital of uh, northeastern ancient Russia. It was uh, the central city of Vladimir and Suzdal Princedom or Principality. Yeah, back in the days, Vladimir had a pretty huge political and uh, religious meaning. But after all, uh, the history turned the way that Moscow, Moscow prints them. Uh, became the main the main princedom in Russia, and uh, Vladimir just became a part of it. By the way, the city called Vladimir exactly after the name of its founder. If you talk about the first version, the first version that's uh, the town founded in 990 90s year. Then it was founded with a great prince, Vladimir, Vladimir Svetoslavich, also known as Vladimir the Red Sun. Sun, you know, the sun which is on the sky, the red sun. And uh, if you talk about the second version that the city founded in uh, 1108, then it was founded with, uh, by Vladimir Manomach. Vladimir the second Manomach. And look, here it is. The Bapt the Baptist of Russia, Prince Vladimir. Князь. Vladimir. Prince Vladimir.
Wow, big time, big time, dudes. Another great ancient Russian town full of history. No, in 1108. <laughs> you you mess it up. With, you mess it up with the years of life of this guy. Now look, this is Gastiny Dvor, the guest yard. Uh, it was constructed using the concept of uh, St. Petersburg guest yard. Those who just joined, let me tell you, we are in Vladimir, the final town in our full Golden Ring of Russia tour. The historical city center starts with those golden gates uh, made in 1167, the main entrance to the uh, uh, historical parts, the main parts of this city. And we are walking through the Bolshaya Moskovska uh, Grand Moscow Street. Unfortunately, Vika upset big time because she fucked up a little with the date, with the date of when the town was founded. Don't be sad. Don't be sad, Vika. Damn. She is pretty pedantic. Uh, she said because she messed up the date when the town was founded with the date of uh, Vladimir, Prince Vladimir. Ладно, они говорят, это ничего страшного. Ну сказал, сказал, это же лайф. The guest yards. It's a mall. Mall of the 18th century. Trading rows. Vika, take it easy. That's because that's because you know it's uh, it's life. It's life. Look, oh, who we see? Freaking Gopniks on lattice, listening to the uh, music so loud. You're thinking that you're cool, but just nobody cares. Can you hear me, you motherfucker? Nobody cares. You just annoy people. And everybody thinking that you're just nobody, but just a mofo. Everybody, everybody here thinking you're a mofo. Why are you listening to the music in a public space like this in the fucking historical city center so fucking loud? That's what they're thinking about you. You hear mofo? Вика, не расстраивайся. Don't be sad. 
It's just one little mistake. Come on. Come on. Uh, we came here to study the history. You know, it's just the one little mistake. <laughs> Они вот сказали, даже ничего не заметили, понимаешь? Вот именно, даже ничего не Владимир, now we are getting to the uh, Cathedral Square, where it's located one of the oldest, one of the oldest cathedrals in a whole Russia. 1158. Now you will see this. 1158. White stones, one of the first one stone churches ever. Look, the monument to 850, 850 years of Yaroslavl. It's uh, uh, founded here in 1958. So uh, the official version is more like about 1108. Да. Oh yes, I missed some super chats. Need to get back and to see. Okay, so John Tomoso, thank you, Mickey Macbeth. Hello, Alvina. You don't get much attention. Maybe you want attention. Hello, anyway. Привет. She said hello. Привет. Dipayan Gosh for Vika. Please buy her favorite ice cream or chocolates with this. Thank you so much. Wow, today just unbelievable amounts of uh, super chat came in the first minutes. Aaron, Vika, ice cream for you. Don't cry. We love you from California. <laughs> the mood is getting raised big time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 850 years to uh, Vladimir. Installed here in uh, 1958. Valeria Martinez told you, love you, Vika, and sent you five bucks. Thank you so much for the chat. The real Russia. The real Russia. Dudes. Dudes. And here is many more of uh, symbolism about this monument. Whoa, big time, big time. You know, only one this monument actually worth the whole video, the whole video to tell all about it. Well, I already told you in the other of my videos, of my live streams, uh, golden ring in a golden ring tour that's uh, one of the most exciting things for me in all of this ancient history uh, that uh, in any moments the history could turn 
the way it could turn the way that um, you know any of the cities any of the cities of uh, the golden ring they they could become like moscow but uh, it happened so that it is moscow became moscow and all the rest towns of uh, the golden ring uh, turns into some kind of provincial cities or just kind of average cities of russia well actually vladimir it's uh, the town it's uh, 73rd in the rating uh, by population in the rating of uh, all the uh, towns of russia in russia it's uh, 1115 towns so being at the 73rd uh place by the population makes it uh, like a pretty stable uh nice uh, average size town of Russia so here we are uh, one of the most significant cathedrals as back then as now it's uh, Dormination Cathedral sometimes it is translated as the Assumption Cathedral the thing is the thing is it was uh, constructed in 1158 1158 and you see the reason why we still can see this because because uh it is made of the white stone white stone so it's uh, pretty uh, uh how to say it's a pretty strong it's a pretty strong construction the white stone and uh, the thing is uh, back 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 in those days it wasn't just a church you know it wasn't just a cathedral it was the residence there was the chambers for the most uh, significant people to live and uh, uh, this is a great uh, place from the point of view of religious back in those days because it also was the residence of bishops and even when Vladimir lost its uh, political meaning for a long time yet it had a great religious meaning because let's say uh, the princess was blessed here was blessed here until they are constructed the church like this in Moscow so already being a relatively provincial city even in ancient russia after moscow completely got a dominant position well all the princes new princes however were blessed here and the bishops from moscow was coming here to vladimir to bless the uh the princes you know wow big time big time and look here used to be actually in vladimir in vladimir died uh alexander nevsky and his relics i mean a part of him the relics was here they were here but uh uh in 18th century peter the great peter the great uh gave an order to bring relics of alexander nevsky to Holy Trinity Alexander Nevsky Lavra in St. Petersburg. About a month ago, I was making a very detailed video with all the aerial shots and stuff like that. Uh, from the Holy Trinity Alexander Nevsky Lavra, you have to remember this. So now the relics of Alexander Nevsky uh, there, uh, right on the bank of Neva River, uh, you know, like maybe 20, maybe 15 miles from uh, the place where he won the battle uh pretty famous and pretty significant uh, battle on neva river and actually alexander nevsky that's why he got his name nevsky because he won the battle on neva alexander nevsky and you know he is considered as uh, the savior of russia uh because back then russia was attacked from uh three different sides and actually he made it so that actually he kicked everybody off Russia 
and uh, Battle on Niva River one was, a, was one of the most significant battles of those days. Well, it seems like now the gates are closed here, but this is not a problem because actually we anyway uh, never supposed to go inside. Yes, you know, look how old style everything here is. You know, look even at this lock. But actually anyway, we were not going to get inside because now inside it's also a problem, still a problem to get inside, uh, even when it's opened. Uh, but it's enough for us to look at this just on a distance. It's uh, one of the most significant uh, monuments, this Dorby Nation or Assumption Cathedral, uh, one of the most significant monuments of uh, so-called white stone architecture. Oh, yeah, somehow we can get inside. Here are the gates. Let's get let's get to see from another side. It's, it's really blowing my mind off. When I see the, con the architecture and constructions like this, uh, and uh, understanding that it was constructed uh, like almost a thousand years ago without any modern techniques that we have now. And the thing is, they were constructing this pretty fast. Like this one was constructed for only four years. Mickey Macbeth, California, chime in here. Damn, Texans are out doing this. Donate now. Thank you. Also, Michael Phillips, enjoy your days, guys. Thank you. Mike MG, thank you for joining membership. Membership. Max Pax, buy something to drink. You guys are funny as hell. Thank you. Dipayan Gorsh, uh, saw the huge Prince Vladimir statue in Moscow, now seeing the Vladimir town, thanks to Sergei, welcome. Welcome and thank you to... Okay, good, good. Uh, this is historically, historically the very center of Vladimir. That's where Vladimir was founded. This cathedral is staying here, same as it was almost a thousand years ago. Unfortunately, uh, Vladimir was fucked up big time in 1238, uh, when the Mongols, the Golden Horde, attacked. However, they were not able to ruin the Assumption Cathedral or Dormination Cathedral in Russian Uspensky. Uspensky. And uh, somehow I never told you that, uh, I never told you yet that uh, Vladimir, the town of Vladimir, was founded on the bank of Klezma. 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 In Russian language, Klezma. After Z, Klez, Klezma. Well, I guess in English manner, it's Klezma. Klezma River. And uh, now I will show you. Well, Klezma River is not as... Uh, uh, breathtaking, breath, breathtaking as uh, Volga, but still, still, Klezma, K 
Клязьма! Клязьма! The Dormination Cathedral. White stone. It's a limestone. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not sure why everything here is closed. Big time. Considering there's the there's the park where people are walking. Я хотел клязьму показать. Окей, we'll show клязьма a, a little bit, a little bit later. О, Викочка, Викочка, как себя чувствуешь? Вика, how do you feel now? Uh, good. Good. Don't worry, don't worry. That was just a pretty uh, small mistake. And by, yeah, there's a uh, observation platform. And look, uh, here is also seems like an element of uh, the earthworks. Uh, I already told you on the example of uh, Perislava Zaleski and Rostov the Great that back then also uh, they worked hard on making the earthworks. Uh, such uh, human-made mountains to make an additional problem for the enemies to get to uh, to get to the town. Vladimir. Max Pax, have you been to any former Soviet Union country? Uh, no, I'm not. I only been to Turkey and to the United States, but actually I consider like I I never been to Turkey. Well, I mean physically I've been there, but the thing is, I just came to the airport, and uh, from airport I've got to the hotel, and I was never getting out of the hotel for ten days. After ten days, I've got uh, transferred to the airport again and uh, just uh, got back to St. Petersburg. So it's like I never been, but what about the United States? I definitely been to the United States because in 2016, also in the frames of uh, the real Russia series, real Russia in the United States, like a guest series, also together with my family, uh, I have visited uh, United States and that all completely was based on the invitations that I used to getting from you guys uh, for four years. You know, I founded the channel in 2012 and for all four years I was getting the messages and invitations like, hey, Sergey, come to the United States. You are welcome to stay in my house, in my house. And at first I was not even considering this like it's serious, but then I started thinking, why not? And, uh, well, I've got visa and uh, I said, that's okay, so I'm ready to come. And uh, I've got many invitations. Well, unfortunately, some invitations I, have, I had to source out because, look, uh, it's just physically imp uh, impossible to visit. Well, mostly uh, I was sourcing out the invitations based on... Uh, uh, on uh, the location. The thing is, I've tried to go through uh, all the United States from uh, New York to Los Angeles. And uh, so that's why I, uh, I have been to New York City, Philadelphia, uh, Cleveland, Chicago, Omaha, uh, San Francisco, also a small place like, which is called Angel's Camp 
in California, Northern California, then a little place in Utah, Las Vegas for three hours, and finally I've got to LA, and from LA I got back home. Okay, now we can see Klezma, Klezma River. You see there is uh, the uh, railway, railways, maybe, maybe their railway station, by the way. Uh, Vladimir became one of the first towns in Russia that was, that got the railway connection with Moscow in uh, 1861, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here is only like 200 kilometers from, you know, from Moscow. Hi, dude. I'm actually from uh, St. Petersburg, I was born in Ufa, but I'm making the channel for an English-speaking audience, so that's why. The channel which is called Real Russia. Welcome to Vladimir. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome too for welcoming me. Now actually this is the live stream, 301 person watching us. Real Russia on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, what's the channel? Uh, Real Russia. It's right now, if you will go there, you will see that real Russia. Now my feeling is better. Good, good. Than 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, real Russia. Not real Russian, but real Russia. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> so now you, you can see your, yourself now. It seems like I've got two subscribers today. It seems like I've got two subscribers today. You're gonna subscribe? You're gonna subscribe? <laughs> okay, so I've got two subscribers now. Okay, big time. Big time. Subscribe. Okay, thank you, thank you, big time. Okay, thank you, thank you, big time. Are you, you're, you're local guys, you're from here, Vatsude? You're, you're local guys, you're from here, Vatsude? Yes, yes. So how do you like Vladimir? Uh, so how do you like Vladimir? How do you like Vladimir? I don't know how to answer, not very well. Not good. Not good. Why? It's so beautiful. Uh, City, very uh, angry people. Angry. Uh, yeah. angry. 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 Well, he said angry people here. Well, so far I never met any angry people. For example, you guys, you look friendly. What? Okay, okay, thank you. Stay tuned, keep watching. Good luck. I see what. Thank you. Не упади там, не упади, эй. То же самое. А тут вот, тут нормально. Это как филиал. Смотри. Ну вот. Это филиал того. Зайди в Maps. Google Maps. Зайди в Google Maps. Клязьма. Клязьма seems pretty small. Yes, it's it's not a uh, it's not a Volga. Uh, Comrade Ronald, U.S. Texans outdo the average Californian before we get out of bed. Super message from Ronald. Uh, oh yeah, Max Pax already. Re I responded to you. Okay. Okay. Он не объяснил. Давайте, а давайте вы расскажете. Сейчас. Не надо. Нет. Не, на самом деле так, не очень. Да. Они все из деревеньку наехали. А, вот эти, которые злые, да? А, а. Okay, this lady is not agree. She heard, she heard the the conversation, and she said that she is not agree. Uh, she said that uh, mostly only those guys are rude who came here 
from the villages, who relocated from the villages, you know? Вот пауэрбанк тоже. Тебя? Mm -hmm. А провод? У меня же вот. Нет, нет, я патент провод возьму. А патент провод возьму. А, давай. Вот, тут еще конфетки я нашла. Good, good. I found uh, candies. Two candies. In my bag. Yeah, candies from yesterday's apartment that we were renting. Look, another great example of uh, white stone architecture. Hello everybody who are just joining, 326 people watching, um, thank you for watching, don't forget about likes. Well, she would. Ah, yes. She would came back uh, in Vladimir and Suzdal. Yes, Suzdal, da. yes, she liked uh, this city uh, most than other cities. No, and Sergei in Passat, it's the same way. And uh, on the way, uh, it's um, Sergei Passat. Da. Three cities from the Golden Ring of Russia. She liked uh, three cities from the Golden Ring of Russia: Sergei Passat, um, Vladimir, Su and Suzdal. Yes, uh, I also can say that. I also can say that uh, I also can say that so far now in the very end I can I can give you my top if it's interesting for you. And my top uh, first of course goes uh, Suzdal. Suzdal. It's it's no doubt. It's uh, the uh, nicest. Uh, it's the ni nicest town, and uh, it's not for nothing. It is a town preserve. Uh, Any time you can come there because you know I saw some uh, winter vid videos, uh, some winter photographs, and uh, it's great there anytime. And it's uh, also you know relatively close to Moscow, so uh, actually you, you you can you can come to Moscow and then just uh, uh, just uh, I don't know maybe. Uh, two hours on uh, the uh, suburban train and stuff like that, and you're already there. Suzdal, number one for sure. Ah, uh, Vika also wants to give her top. My top three is uh, uh, number one, Vladimir, number two is uh, Suzdal, and number three, the capital of Golden Ring, Yaroslav. Oh, oh. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Good. Well, but look, uh, if if I said that Suzdal is the best, it doesn't mean other towns are are bad or something. All towns are great. The only thing that I already told you, I already told you uh, pretty honestly that I would exclude Ivanovo from Golden Ring. It's a nice town. Uh, provincial town and average Russian town. Also, this is the capital of uh, constructivism architecture, but it has nothing with the uh, ancient Russia. Now it's uh, Dmitrievsky Sabor, Dmitrievsky Cathedral. And look, and look at that carvings. They are the original ones. Yes, that is became possible to save it, thankful to the white stone and the, the power of the white stone. Uh, look, now here, well, the uh, Dormination Cathedral is closed. I mean, 
the entrance to the territory. But we can see this here. We at least can get close uh, because they are made of uh, the same, the same material, the white stone, the limestone. And look how already back then they really worked hard on polishing the surface of this uh, blocks of this uh, uh, limestone blocks, which is pretty great. Посмотри, как будет по-английски слово олово. Олово, олово. Architecture. Architecture. Vitruvsky Sabor, unique memory, ancient Russian architecture. Architecture, yes. The time of the working of exposition is 11 a.m. To 7 p.m. Yes, now, now this is not working. Uh, this is not a marble. No, it's not marble. It's white stone, limestone. And look, uh, limestone actually have uh, something like uh, uh, the holes. Uh, so that's why they, they were uh, connecting this with a tin with a tin, with a such a chemical elements as a tin, because tin completely, completely, uh, how to say, uh, prevents it from getting the water out of this. The water is not okay. The water is not okay for the uh, white stone. Here is more than 600 of artworks like this. Wow. Dmitrievsky Cathedral was built in 1194-1197. Thank you for uh, recalling. I was reading a lot about this yesterday and today, but uh, hard to remember all the dates. Well, so it's uh, just a little, just a little bit younger than the Dormination or the Assumption Cathedral that we saw in the very beginning. And uh, yet you have no idea how it is inside. Mickey Macbeth, about the two guys, California joke. Why is it so hard for a woman to find a man that is well-dressed, good-looking and intelligent? Is this the question for me? Or what? The workmanship that went into that, just think of that, yeah, yeah. Uh, Amazing architecture. Uh, for example, I, I used I used to be like, uh, you know, it was so blowing off blowing off my mind about how they were constructing the uh, uh, Saint Isaac's Cathedral in Saint Petersburg. But look, in Saint Petersburg, uh, they are constructing this for forty years. Uh, I guess these guys would make it for maybe like six, seven. Well, of course, it's not as big as uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral, but still. Vladimir. Mm -hmm. 
22 минуты это не то. На ногах. Нет, нет. Тогда это нет. Это трасса М7. Вот это не мужчина. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Now a little bit, so let's get back to the streets and let's check if uh, the people are rude here. Those two local, local guys, they were funny. They said that uh, they consider Vladimir as so-so because people are rude. But uh, themselves, they were pretty friendly. Well, now I go, uh, I'm gonna go just uh, all around. I'm not sure where I go. And I think that it's, it's gonna make it even more interesting. Press park. There, there, the women are singing. <laughs> folk. The folk. folk? Uh, they song. Uh, sing. Uh, they sing um, folk Russian folk songs. I turned the camera this way because it seems like the sound better from this side of the phone. How do you love it? Dudes, how do you like it? That's, uh, that's the real Russia, only in an old ancient Russian town. You can just walk through the park and uh, to meet the collective like this. Because let's say I, uh, I uh, lived in uh, the city of Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, uh, for uh, 34 years of my life and uh, I never saw anything like this in uh, parks of uh, the city of Ufa which is the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan which is not an ancient Russia uh, let's say the Republic of uh, Bashkortostan joined 
uh, Russia just in 1547. It's uh, for all the just married people. Uh, this is the tradition that exists in uh, every uh, in every uh, in every Russian town now. It's like uh, the places like this after the uh, wedding, uh, the just married couple coming and. Uh, they are locking such locks and uh, throw away the key. It's like with this way they lock their love. Like, yeah, and uh, uh, sign. Uh, they even sign uh, these uh, like. Uh, Dima plus Ola. Yeah. Dima plus Ola, ah, yes. for example. Equal love. Artyom Ola. Alexander and uh, Alexander and Alexandra. Yes, Alexandra can be a female name. Hello? Hi. Are you tourists? Uh, some kind of. Some kind of? No. Uh, no. You are from Vladivostok? Nope. From I'm from St. Petersburg. From St. Petersburg. But we are making an, uh, the channel for an English language uh, channel. I say everyone. Everyone says. We need one person, but it Vika. Come She said they... Whoa! It turned to be that this is a famous collective, and she said that uh, we've got pretty blessed and proud that we now have uh, this possibility to film them because they are pretty famous in their, uh, how to say, industry. <laughs> and and she's the head. Here must stay three persons. Iman de Valera, thank you. Крестиком, плюсиком. Eight steps uh, forward, eight steps back. Один раз, один раз. Один раз. Один раз. Еще раз. Пожалуйста. Это этап 
Guy Walsh for ice cream after. Thank you. Не расцепляйся. О, молодец. Freaking mosquitoes.
Good. Прекрасно, прекрасно. It was a Troyar, Troyar dance. А песни будут еще? Больше песни не будет. А то нас 300 человек смотрят. 3, 3, 300, 300 человек смотрят. Они, наде... Они надеялись, что спо... песни будут. Трояр. Есть разные варианты вот этого танца, где-то он называется топор, где-то троян, где-то троян. Но вот это, вот это движение, когда идет тройка, мужчина в центре, угу. женщина по бокам, мужчина управляет этой тройкой, как он управляет жизнью, собственно. Угу. И вот это один из вариантов этого танца. Гарец. Наш коллектив называется Владимир Скричора, это вам посмотрите собрание. Владимирская вечера. Вечера. С стороны есть группа в ВКонтакте, заходите к нам, угу. присоединяйтесь к проекту хороводы России, хороводы традиций. В прошлом году на Дворцовой площади в Санкт-Петербурге мы проводили там хороводы. В этом году, к сожалению, из-за ситуации это еще под большим вопросом, но это останется. По крайней мере, в 2021 году мы наверняка будем в Санкт-Петербурге. Отлично. Обязательно придем. Так что контакты есть, можно написать, я вам потом... Спасибо ну большое. а сейчас песни не будет, да, больше? А то 317 человек смотрит. Да. Может, одну песню? Maybe one song? For 317 people. 16, 11. Джей Гибсон, thank you. Speechless. Буквально минута две. Окей, okay, special for, for you. Uh, okay, so uh, this song they are singing when they are meeting the guests. Спасибо большое, спасибо. спасибо. Хорошо. И пришлем на VK. Как вас а, ну, это есть такой канал, называется Real Russia. Ну, типа настоящая а -а -а. Россия. Ну, вы туда, да. They said we've got to the real Russia. Really real Russia. And mosquitoes are real as well. Да. Просто сейчас идет live, прям вот live. 323 ну, человека. Откуда они смотрят? А, со всего Америка. мира. А, ну написать, да. написать в контактах, написать фамилию. Я а. тебе сейчас немножко. Ну просто. А подержи, Хорошо. Давай Хорошо. Я Хорошо. Special for you guys. Real Russia. Real Russian vlog. From the Golden Ring of Russia. Yes. Amazing city. Amazing temperature and uh, we feeling good. Hello Vika, hi, hi. Uh, lovely Vika, thank you. Uh, great job, Vika, thank you. Uh, oh, I'm <laughs> Ren. Um, thank you. I'm tired, but uh, I think uh, I do a good uh, job. Uh, Victoria, приветики. Victoria, hi. Uh, Любовь Баклакова, my grandma. Hello, hello. Um, Вика feeling happy now. Yes, um, now I feeling good. Вика, did you like the, da the dance? 
so I don't know. This is uh, not um, my. Uh, <laughs> this is not my um, years. Not um, yes. I don't know how to say. Good job, uh, Vika. Thank you. Vika was brilliant. Thank you. Hello to you, Vika. Hi. Um, yes. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Yes, thank you. Great job. Thank you. Hello, Vika. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Are you enjoyed this uh, dance? Are you like my dance? Yes, they loved your dance. Yes, you. Ah, I sure, sure. <laughs> I love everything about you. This is first time when I danced uh, this. Uh, Sara, great dancing, Vika. Mary Rose D for <laughs> Vika. Manu Tewari. Sergey, this is uh, turning into one of my favorites of your videos. I'll watch again. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, big time, and thank you too. Come on. And now uh, we will go to the street. Well, at first we wanted to go uh, just to explore the streets of Vladimir after watching uh, through the, the most significant things like this Dmitrovsky Cathedral. And then, you know, uh, as soon as we started walking, you know what happens? We've heard the Russian folk songs in the park. So we've got back to the park and we've met this awesome folk collective. They are dancing, they are singing, and uh, they gave a masterclass to Victoria. And after all, uh, they also sang a short song for you dudes. For you dudes. The, uh, the woman asked uh, who wants to dance. And my dad and my mom chose me. Really choose. Choosing. Choosing me. Of course you. Imagine, imagine you participated in a uh, repetition of uh, a famous Russian folk collective. Uh, I have no clue. I don't understand. Uh, but, but everything, everything, everything happens first. And uh, my mom said that uh, when, we, when they would be in the uh, they said... Uh, they invited... They invited me. Us. To film. So when they will come to St. Petersburg, we agreed that uh, they will let me know and I can film the whole concert. This is now the museum, historical museum. Historical museum in the historical building of uh, Vladimir. Big time, big time. Okay, now let's go to the streets. Dudes, dudes. Вы тут переходите, Yeah, he tried so hard. Jim Holy. Hi, Jim. Big time. Big time. Get stoned naturally. Jim. Jim is an absolutely Hi. awesome guy. This is the man uh, at whose place I was staying in New York City. Hi. And he was as nice as he even left the keys to me. And I was living there alone, right in Manhattan. Uh, he left somewhere because of job and he just left the keys. Jim Holy. Good to see, get stoned naturally. Mars bars, blessings from Bakersfield. Blessings from Russia.
the summer to race there. So the summer two races uh, here already works, but in Vladimir region, you still can't get inside. It's still not allowed uh, to go inside of the uh, uh, restaurants. Only summer two races. And now this reminds me about St. Petersburg. Oh, well. Uh, The playground for kids, which looks like Kremlin. Yes, uh, this looks like Moscow Kremlin. Mark Hewitt, I wish I was Russian, thank you. Welcome, big time. Huge time, huh? Thank you. Now this makes me miss uh, St. Petersburg. I haven't been to St. Petersburg already for, for almost two months. Anthony Brigandi, Vladimir has been a wild ride. Uh, now we got back to the Cathedral Square. This is the monument to 850 years of Yaroslav. Uh, those who just joined, let me remind you that today we are in Vladimir. The town of Vladimir, founded or in 990 or in 1108. There are two versions about this. By the first version, it was founded by the great Prince Vladimir, Vladimir Svetoslavich, also known as Vladimir the Red Sun. Uh, by the second version, it was founded in 1108 by another Vladimir, Vladimir II Manomach. When he founded the fortress here, you see both Vladimirs. So the historians so much argue about it. They dispute about it all the time. Which, uh, which year is uh, really the year when they founded this city? In 990 or 1108? Uh, Vladimir, and you know, the town of Vladimir, it literally means that it's Vladimir's town. Like it's same as it's same as like Yaroslavl. And Saint Petersburg too. Yeah, and Saint Petersburg is named after Saint Peter. Peter Saint Peter, but but uh, some people are thinking that uh, Peter the Great named it after him, but no, it's uh, after Saint Peter. Yes, not uh, after the. It's uh, not the same person. Mm -hmm. St. Peter. Uh, it's like uh, uh, the uh, watchman of the keys from the city. Actually, there's Peter and Paul. That's why uh, in the main place of St. Petersburg, in the, it's called Peter and Paul fortress and there's the main church which is called peter and paul church and you know there are buried most of most of russian tsars except two of them well peter the great is buried there uh and uh, uh nicholas the second family that was all murdered after the revolution. Now we can see the life of uh, a weekend, a weekend in Vladimir, a weekend life. Набери там что-нибудь типа пешеходная улица Владимира, напиши, может такая есть. Большая Московская. Grand Moscow Street. Mm -hmm. 
Vladimir to 13th century. It has became one of the uh, central cities of Russia. It was the capital of northeastern ancient Russia. It was the center of Vladimir and Suzdal uh, princedom. Ah, uh, the guest yard, гостиный двор. This one was constructed using the concept of uh, the guest yard, гостиный двор, the mall uh, in Saint Petersburg. The mall of uh, the end of uh, 18th century. Пока идем. Да, да. Там есть кофеек. Там есть кофеек. Кофеек. А мы еще покушать потом зайдем и поедем. Мы уже ужинали. Ну, кстати, десерт я здесь попала просто. Vladimir Stupid motherfucker This is uh, very dangerous Riding so fast Eman de Valera Costas, Costas Savakis, thank you. Great tour, much needed now that traveling is limited. Yeah, it's a little bit sad that this Golden Ring tour is getting over today. The final eighth town of uh, the Golden Ring of Russia. But the good news, the good thing is that there is still over thousands of other towns of Russia. I think that in the winter maybe it makes sense to try to make the same route but in the winter time to get another look coffee like we like coffee like big time Oh yeah, big time. Да, давай. Тебе какой кофе? Мокрый. Я не могу ночью. Не так сильно. She got to the wet bench. Да не сильно. Тебе что? Мне горячий шоколад только, чтобы они делали без комочков. Ладно, скажи без комочков. Кажи что. Ну обычный кофе лайк, что тебе? Mm-hmm. 
А, давай фрапучино. Пожалуйста. Здравствуйте. Необходим фрапучино. А, фрапучино? фрапучино. А, потом горячий шоколад. И, и латте большой. Давайте. Оплати, оплати. Какой шоколад? Шоколадный, ванильный, карамельный. Какой тебе? Нет, шоколадный. Шоколадный. А, нет, нет. А тебе фрапучино нужен там? Или там что-то сахар? Там все есть фрапучино. Знаете, классические, я просто ни разу не пробовала фрапучино. Оплатить. Разбавить надо, да? Разбавить. Mm -hmm. Хорошо. Хорошо. Спасибо. Mm -hmm. Спасибо. Mm -hmm. Да. Дюц. Сейчас, секунду. Подожди. Комрад Роналдс. Might as well mention I bought my ticket on Air Ford for August 1 departure. JFK, Шереметьево и Ленинградс аэропорт. LED, it's Pulkova Airport. Good, yes. Uh, actually purchased, Ronald purchased the ticket to St. Petersburg for the 1st of August. Dipayan Gosh, why is so few people wearing mask in Russia? Is Corona under control? Yes, it's under control. Mars bars for Vikas Coffee, thank you so much. Thank you, big time. Thank you, huge time. I will better, but I will go into the streets because of this copyright shit. Whoa, the rain! The rain started. Wow, 335 people watching. It's awesome. Please give likes, give likes, dudes. I can't wait to see Sergey and Chipskate Ronalds in a new video. Mama Bear. Yeah, that would be fun to make uh, the uh, videos or live streams together. I love rain. Ray Android, very nice, typical Russian evening. Everybody in Russia likes to spend evening out. Cheers to you and your wonderful family, Sergey. Welcome, big time. Hey. Hi. Uh, those are the guys from that folk collective we saw in a park. You were dancing with me, with them. With them. Albina. Typical Russian evening. Uh, people walk uh, on the street, streets, and uh, yes, and chilling and dancing. Mm, sometimes dancing. Opa. Uh, she said, Opa. He said uh, in front of uh, police. Cops. Cops. Forward, forward the cops. 
Forward the cop, cops. Opa! Spirit de copper. Spirit de copper. Opa! Spirit de copper. Spirit de copper. Opa! Spirit de copper. Spirit de copper. I'm not with him. <laughs> I don't know him. Spirit de copper. Opa. Spirit de copper. Spanish, Spanish shame. Yes. <laughs> it's a shame for the other, another person. Like this. And uh, my mom sitting right there. Just sitting in her phone. We are stalkers. <laughs> hugs uh, my uh, hugs my backpack backpack <laughs> and sitting in your phone like tomorrow we go to Ufa yes <laughs> not to St. Petersburg yet yes it's <laughs> Окей. Okay. We'll not do any more. Я пойду посмотрю, мама что там снимай меня. Давай. Пропусти людей. Окей, okay, here is the rain, so they decided to get back. Kevin C. Sergey, please make the face uh, when you get tired. <laughs> well, this is. I'm in a coffee shop inside for the first time for the last like I don't know four months. Кто-то говорит от тебя убегать. Move away from him, Vika. I can't because we are filming now for you live streaming. This is him for um, after uh, Midavuha. No, a little bit. He dry, uh, he drank a little. Pretend uh, you don't know him. <laughs> Стало адекватным за минуту. А, нет, все. He doing like Joker. Like here. Вика, у слада для наших глаз. Wonderful family from Tallinn with love. Thank you, Maxim, for uh, 10 years. Uh, Dipayan Gosh. Gosh. Uh, thank you for super chat. Um, love, father, daughter, dancing. Yes, thank you. Big time. Big enjoy time. it, Vika. Uh, best times. Yes, I enjoyed this uh, road trip, this um, golden ring of Russia and this city, this awesome city historical ancient 
cultural and one of the most oldest uh, Russian cities. He was founded uh, in 1008. Да? 1108. Блин, что мы здесь Я хочу, чтобы они были как-то ну, вот такими, смотри. Big huge time, awesome Vika. Thanks, huge time. Uh, Vika. Are you understand uh, to speak uh, English? Um, yes, I'm speak English. Uh, mm, good. Six times a week in school. Um, dun, 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 dun. No video tomorrow. Uh, will we be, will, be, will be, yes. We going to our village and um, we will film video with Tim. Uh, With Timur, probably. Baja, 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 Baja. Так, um, videos. Esqueleton, uh, Esqueleton. Esqueleton, thank you for super sticker. You gave like. О, Джей Геннон, thank you for super chat, чтобы покрывать расходы. Thank you. That's to cover the expenses, he said. Yes. Что показывает? Чтобы покрывать расходы, ну типа. Вика, your English is good. Um, yes, I think my English is good too. Uh, in my school, English uh, every day, почти как бы. Almost. Yes, almost every day. Uh, six days. Мам, я учу. Мам, каждый день нам задают учить тексты. В смысле, я не учу. My mom kidding now. Bad joke. She said, oh, you are not learning English, but I'm learning English. Um, my English uh, teacher gave me every day to teach uh, text English um, pom, 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 pom. Iman de Valera thank you for a super sticker coffee, coffee yes, we are now in coffee life um, your English is pretty good I could Barely, barely speak English at your uh, age. He два говорил по английски твоему возрасте. А? He два говорил по английски твоему возрасте он. А он американец? Нет, видимо. Диего. А, thank you. Latin guy. Yes. Spanish maybe. They teach uh, English in school. Awesome. Yes, in every Russian school it is English um, so готово, да? like yes. Uh, in other schools it's um, two times a week and in gymnasies it's um, six times a week. Now WhatsApp messages. Sorry, sorry. Um, Vika, same a action as Sergey. Um, he's my dad, yes. We are have uh, same action. Oh, thank you. Stefan, thank you. Vika, is that your new phone? No. She, she never collected enough for a phone yet. Hmm? Yes. Latte. Просто смотри. Big mm. sign. Я немного отвлеклась. Я показала то, что вот у меня из WhatsApp, короче, сообщение. 
Вот это угли. Что там в WhatsApp? Да, Ксюша пишет. А. Mm. Good. Can you speak Bashkir language? Сау Голсон, Бахат Лев Голсон, Рахем и Тегес, Рахмат. Yes. Что, пойдемте потихонечку? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Um, Vika, what is okay? Vika, what is your favorite sport? I don't know. She used to love hockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hockey. Да, давай, давай, пошли. Бери с собой. Одевай шляпу. Шляпу сначала. До свидания, спасибо. Правда, немного дождь. Well, a little rainy, but we have to go. The night in Vladimir. The monument to Prince Vladimir. I used to show this today. You can check in the very beginning of the video. Вот, кстати, что с Русами, что в Владимире присутствует такое чувство, что ты реально отдыхаешь. Albina said that as in Suzdal, as here in Vladimir, here is presents the feeling that you're really chilling here. Wow. Look, also not far from uh, from here there's the town which is called Goose Krustalny. It means goose crystal, like crystal goose. Imagine the name of this city, Goose. Crystal, like crystal, crystal goose, and uh, they are making such a. Since 1756, they are making the things like this. Whoa! Two thousand bucks for this chess. Would you like such a chess for two thousand bucks? Since seventeen fifty six. Samovar. Self brewery pot. Hookers. Ну, наверное. Как-то обозначено двигаться. 
Мы не тебе. Подожди, подожди. не подсвечен, но вот по сути пешеходная такая улица считается, причем не подсвечивают. The historical drag store. Не знаю. I'm not sure why the lampposts are still not turned on. Such a nice lamppost. Yeah, probably coronavirus guilty. This is probably a restaurant. Ну вот сейчас идти направо и будет такая пешеходная. Ну и вот эта часть уже пешеходная. Now we are go right. This is pedestrian side. Вот эта Георгиевская, она потом в Девическую переходит. Но это просвет, конечно, тут. В какую переходит? В Девическую. Uh, this uh, Georgievская close into Девическая. Uh, this is right there. The observation platform. Yeah, we had to come a little bit earlier. This is a Georgi, George, Saint George Cathedral. Saint George give luck in a battles. The lampposts are not working. Damn. It would be nice here with the lamppost being turned on. No. A bar. Very nice streets. Would be would be pretty nice to come here in a daytime. We're actually now going through the pedestrian streets of uh, Vladimir, but looks not that nice with the uh, light turned off. But uh, this is actually a nice chance to show that even in a uh, night time, the streets of Russia are pretty safe. No.
Покажи вот этого чувачка. Монюментс. Фаермен. Well, here he looks like Дмитрий Шостакович. Да, если мы хотим пройти далее, если на главную, на право. Далее, давай. Он имеет мостыч, и Дмитрий Шестакович не имеет. Да, давай. Валерий. The amount of churches in Vladimir is also kind of kind of huge. Блинчики. Панкейкс. Там потом выйдем до нам центрального улицу. Ну да. Сейчас, кстати, мы выйдем к золотым воротам. Я надеюсь, там подсветка будет. I'm not sure why not the lighting here. This is no good. А, смотри, вот фонтан с чего. Actually, we are getting back to the fountain where from we have started. And there still sounds the music, and still a lot of kids having a great time. I can hear it from, from here. Awesome, awesome. So that's how we've make, we've made such a loop, such a ring inside of this city. We have started from this square, where is the academic theater, uh, from this singing fountain. Went through went through the uh, Golden Gates, constructed in 1167, and then went through the main streets, Bolshaya, Moskovskaya, Grand Moscow streets. We got to the cathedral, the main cathedral here, uh, Dormination or Assumption Cathedral. And then we've got to the park where we've met the folk collective uh, singing these songs. By the way, now we've got right to the earthworks. Unfortunately, you can't see, but here is a huge... Huge earthworks. Damn. And this is the uh, Golden Gate. We have started video going through the Golden Gates entering this city. Стой тут. Дальше нету. А нет? Нету. Ну, такая, знаешь, для the, the Golden Gate. But from here we can't see the gates. The gates are from that side. Но вообще обычно люди здесь скатываются. I know that. Ты боишься? Ну она может меня ужалить. I know that people are people are sliding here. Можно попробовать отсюда спуститься. Я отгоняюсь. Вообще вот некоторые отсюда вот так вот спускаются. Давайте. Но лучше не надо. У меня так нога сломана. У меня так нога сломана. Тройной перелом ноги. Дай лучше а у меня ногу, а тройные белые. Ой. Чтоб подгонять. Почему мои бейсболки только не машины сильно вам? Смотрите, под ноги. Watch your step. Watch your step. Вот там же не видно ничего. Вот. Зачем ты так бежишь? Там же не видно, может, какая-то арматура здесь торчит. Хотя вряд ли, конечно, но тем не менее. Ну вот тут, смотри, допустим, здесь вот бревна, вот как да, раз можно о них нет. запнуться. Это же не асфальт. Дай мне первую кепку. 
Или испортить вон твои любимые сникерсы. Аккуратно. Давай ты будешь идти, а я тебя снимать сейчас. Поэтому мне нечем руки жалеть. Там походу музыка. So it seems like the music there goes uh, by the loop, because I remember that vals from Russian composer Evgeny Doga, and after uh, that vals there was queens, we are the champions, and now it's the same. Okay, we got back to the cathedral. So, uh, Imon de Valera, thank you again. So we've made a loop, we've made a circle, we came to where we have started, to where we have started from. Today we've made a great thing, we went through the golden gates of uh, Vladimir, which is the entrance to the most significant historical parts of the town like those guys 900 years ago they were constructed in 1167 <laughs> vladimir yeah it was a great tour i can say well unfortunately today the golden ring tour is over But uh, watch the stream. Uh, but yeah. our, but our, but our travels will keep getting because yes, Golden Ring. It's only eight towns of Russia, but in Russia we have one thousand one hundred fifteen towns and cities, and uh, a lot of villages and uh, settlements and uh, just uh, natural preserves. And also before, before we start the uh, uh, next tour, uh, you can watch uh, our uh, days in Ufa. Like yesterday, we go tomorrow. To the, tomorrow, we go into the village and uh, we and we can watch it in live stream. Got back to the singing fountain. Посмотри, посмотри. Нет, наверное. Там же сейчас тебя кочурит. Ну а как ты поедешь? Тебя мокрый, никто не посадит. Слышишь? Friday night in Vladimir. It turned to be an awesome town. Awesome. One of the most awesome during the whole Golden Ring tour. Avaro 59. It has been a really big time tour. Thank you for all preparation and narration. 
Welcome, big time. And thank you too. Thank you for appreciation. That means a lot to me. I'm glad that you enjoyed this tour. It was really, really super saturated tour. Super saturated. A lot of efforts. A lot of road trips, so many hotels, so many movings. But you enjoyed it and it was not for nothing. Она хочет ее такси не посадили. Вся Ну все, Вика. Yes, like this video, big time. Давай так что уже выберем. Ну. Давай вот так вот. Просто встанем, ну, позировать, типа, потом сюда скринчотим, чтобы фотка была, типа. Нет, ты себя-то покажи. Как у нас гостиничный процесс? А, Макс, золотое кольцо. Я вызываю. We're now requesting taxi. Вика, сейчас тут пойдет в это. Вика, сейчас ты будешь мокрый. Тебя не посадят, ты понимаешь? Тебя не посадят такси. And look, there is a Catholic church, Saint Rosary, Rosary. Uh, some Catholics presents here as well, but mostly, of course, an Orthodox, uh, an Orthodox Christians. You know, all of these towns of uh, the Golden Ring, they are pretty Russian. Uh, they are, they are very old, very ancient, and uh, with a population of 95-96% of ethnically Russian people. Vladimir is awesome, but nothing can beat Suzdal. If you will come to Moscow, you, you can visit Suzdal for sure. It's uh, relatively close and it's awesome. I can say for sure that about Suzdal, you will never regret not a single minute. I give you my, my tooth for that. We have such a th saying in Russia. I give you my tooth. That means that uh, if I if I lie now, then later you can beat the tooth out of me. So I give you my tooth that you will never regret about uh, Suzdo. Hi again. Hi again. Now I'm. How would you 
I'm hold camera. I'll take camera. Yes. Amazing. And now I'm wet. I don't know how to say wet. Wet. Um, water on me. <laughs> yes, wet, скорее всего. Ой. Yes, I'm wet. А как? Wet? Wet. Wet. Ой. Yes. And we are exciting this trip. I like when you take camera, Vika. But show this. Okay. Yes, this is beautiful. Night, uh, Vladimir. No matter where you where you're watching, it's beautiful. Golden Gate. Я тебя сейчас снимаю. Um, Вика is the best. Thank you. Thank you big time. Так сказали, что я лучше. I am best. No, I am the best. I am best. I am best. You just better. Yes. Okay, you're the best. best. Of course you're the best. You have to be the best. You have to be better than me. Vika, Stalin or Lenin, which one you like more? Mostly. I don't um, live uh, in this time when they um, been... Uh, how would it be? Ruled. When they ruled Russia and I can't say. Yes. But, excuse me, but... Thanks to Comrade Lenin. But thanks to Comrade Lenin for for our happy childhood. Um, what time is there right now, Vika? Um, 22:03. It's 10:03 uh, p.m. 10:03 p.m. Песня играет просто. Um. You see how how excited she is about all the beauty here. Um, you're the best. What? Мне сказали, you're the best. I'm the best. Yes, thank you. The best, the best, Victoria. Vika, you so like okay. your father, Sergey. Это как? Ты похожа на меня. Это наше? Это наше, да? Здравствуйте. Нам повезло все-таки, да? Где-то вдалеке молния сверкает. Hey Ronald, it wasn't to piss you off, just, uh, but just to get some laugh. Thank you. Thank you. 
yes i still have a rental car which i will release uh already tomorrow morning because from vladimir we are getting back to moscow 190 kilometers from moscow Там были рейсы в Санкт-Петербург. Сейчас я не, не знаю, работает или нет, но он есть. Просто вот я пытаюсь найти Минаков. Нет, до 15 -го года там он летал в Петербург. А сейчас не летает. Что-то ну. сейчас пока нет. Сейчас возможно нет уже. Наверное, не очень выгодно было. Там Псков авиа. Я читал. Я просто ради интереса хотел бы сказать, сколько будет стоить от Владимира улететь в Санкт-Петербург. Не улететь. С Москвы только. А вы местные здесь живете, да, и живете всю жизнь? Не всю жизнь. А, вы переехали? Да. Откуда? Ну, гусь хрустальный. А там гусь хрустальный тоже так красивый. Да не особо. Не как Суздаль. Нет. Набережный красивый. Все, да, больше чайки. Ну, мы просто сегодня с Суздаль приехали вообще. Впечатление. Давухи купили 8 колодов. Теперь думаем, как в аэропорт у нас не отправят обратно. Я этого не знаю. Ну, самолет... В принципе, ручной патер понятно, что нельзя. Багаж главное, чтобы 8 колодов взяли. Там политрушки? Или полтора. Полтора. Я подошла на рынке к женщине, нам посоветовал там, который нас катал вчера. И она, давай на пробу мне по чуть-чуть, по чуть-чуть с севиды, с чебрецом, с севиды, с мягом, все, все. Ну и все, я под впечатлениями, все под купили, градусом да? 8 колонов беру всем, да, на гостинице. Там заказы часто туда бывают.
Плюс поклад изменен на наличный, да? Угу. Так. А по номеру телефона можно вообще? Да. Скажете, да, номер? Говорить? Ой, сейчас э, по номеру, по номеру, вот. We came back to the hotel. А, все, ну что, да, да, да. 902. 8902. 885. 885. 48. 48. 34. Сколько? 184. Спасибо. Да, не нужно. Да, да, да. Вот что, номер засветили, да? А, нет, я там. Такси. Uh, so this is the hotel which is called Golden Ring. It's uh, the Soviet hotel, but now it's belonging to a Max Russian chain of uh, the uh, hotels. A Max. Amax, Amax, Amax. And here we have paid 35 or uh, 45 bucks, 45 bucks for the room here. And uh, here is the parking, the parking. I parked the car there. Forty-five bucks for three of us. Number books. Люкс? Да. Студио. А, студио? Конечно, какой люкс. А, я думала, у нас люкс. Uh, now for some time the connection will get lost probably. Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. Look, I'm not sure what it is all about, but here on our door. Here is the uh, such a sign where it says Ufa. No, it's not special because it sticks so so strict. Okay. Uh, the room, which is like just a studio. Just a pretty typical room. 
подходи. Тапочки одевай. Two beds connected together and a sofa for Victoria. A TV screen I never care about. Uh, air conditioner and the balcony. The parking here is Hyundai Salaris that I rent from Avis in Russia. So forty five bucks. Forty five bucks. Чего там? Сейчас я пока туда выйду. So here I am, here we are, in a hotel after visiting the final eight town of all eight official towns of Golden Ring of Russia. And this is this was awesome for sure. Uh, we have started eight days ago. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for commenting and of course for contributing. It would uh, not be possible without you, without your attention now. I gave an idea and immediately you are reacted and contributed this, which is pretty great. It happens and it, it works. Uh, thank you all for being with us all these uh, eight days, uh, our road trip in Golden Ring of Russia and uh, road trip, Samara, Moscow, not in, on Golden Ring. And uh, yeah, this is a um, unique experience in our lives. Um. Pretty unique experience, I can say for sure. Uh, it was amazing eight days and another amazing ten days before the Golden Ring uh, during the trip through the Volga River, um, you know, towns. We started from Ufa and went to Samara. From Samara we went to Ulyanovsk, the motherland of uh, Vladimir Lenin, the founder of uh, Soviet Union. Then we went to unique town island of Sviarsk. Then from Sviarsk we, we came to Kazan, which is the capital of uh, Tatars, of the Republic of Tatarstan of Russia. 
then uh, Chuvash Republic, the town of Cheboksari, and then we went to Nizhny Novgorod, which is awesome city on the embankments of Volga River as well. And then we came to Moscow, been to Moscow for three days, and uh, then started the second stage of the recent uh, road trip, Golden Ring of Russia. At first, we came to Sergiev Passat, the residence of uh, St. Sergius of Radonish, then uh, went to Perislavl Zaleski, where Alexander Nevsky was born, uh, then to Rostov the Great. Uh, then came to Yaroslavl, then Kostroma, uh, Ivanovo, and finally we came to Suzdal. Suzdal was the best in my opinion. And finally, after Suzdal, only 30 kilometers, uh, and we came to Vladimir. Today we had a great walk in Vladimir. Also absolutely great, great town. Uh, yes, this was awesome. I think this is something what about we are gonna remember and recall for all of our life, especially during the uh, long winters in St. Petersburg, which is great. By the way, as if you already, as you already know, probably, you probably already saw that Ronald announced that he already purchased the tickets at the 1st of August and uh, he's coming to uh, St. Petersburg at the 1st of August. And uh, I hope that, well, he probably going to be busy with some other things, but, but I hope that there will be a possibility for us to film the video together again. Uh, now, now, after the end of this Golden Ring tour, we are getting back to Moscow. I will have to release the car there, and then I will get back to Ufa, Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, and my hometown. Um, yeah, like, I just want to spend some more time, yes, with uh, my family in an extended understanding of this. Same about uh, Victoria and same about Albina, you know, to spend the time with... Uh, with uh, the uh, with the parents, with in-laws and other relatives. Uh, but uh, closer to August, already going back to St. Petersburg. Uh, I will not drive to Ufa. We will uh, come to Moscow. I will uh, return the car to Avis and then we just will fly to Ufa. It's only two hours flight from Moscow to Ufa. Uh, thank you very, very much. In the end, just uh, gonna read uh, your super chats. Uh, the super chats today were just amazing, you know. Um, you you guys seem loved uh, the Vladimir, or maybe just in the very end of uh, this series of Golden Ring, uh, you decided something like to show to show your love. I don't know why. Maybe, or maybe today is Friday. Many people watching. Okay, when Vika will get a driver's license? Well, she allows to get a driver's license only uh, since 18. Well, actually, she can pass through the exam already in 16, 17. But actually, to be allowed to drive to get the actual driver's license, she can only at 18. Uh, so <coughs> it, it's gonna take a, a lot, a long yet, like yet uh, five, uh, uh, five years before she will be able to get a driver's license. Atom Bomb 31458, great tour, well done, gotta go back and catch some of the stuff I missed. Uh, yes, tour is great, thank you so much for uh, contribution. Thank Valeria you. Martinez, also all the time contributor. Thank you for the trip around the Golden Ring of Russia by Sergey and family. Thank you all. Thank you all, dudes. Thanks. That's really great Thank that you. we were able to explore it all together. Logi Beats. Thank you, too. Logi Beats. Sleep well. Yeah, I'm going to get sleep now. Kathy Norris. You're welcome. Thank you, too. DWE115. Russia is on my uh, to-visit list. That's good. Maria Zakharova. Uh, Maurizio Patia, thanks for love. Uh, John Fothergill, bye, bye, and thank you too. I pro, bye. 
Ron Jalis, uh, Joe Hernandez, Great Trip and History Lessons, welcome, JJNS, Time in a Bottle, Ron Jalis, Osam Ahmed, Bye, Mark F, Kevin C, Dream Holy, great show, guys, Dream Holy, thank you big time, uh, thank you. Get Stoned Naturally and Make a Bold Move. This is our local joke with Jim Holy. He just once gifted me the t-shirts where was the sign Get Stoned Naturally. <laughs> okay. Jim Holy. He is a great guy uh, who once even uh, lived the keys from his apartment in New York City to me. It was f four years ago. Uh, Sarah by Quantum. Thank you for the real vacation big time. Susan Nagy. Uh, bye. Thank you too. EMS Paramedic. Luis Carlos Rocha. Ali Abul Karim. Uh, always welcome. Vladi Vostok, please, next. Uh, Jill Simpson. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But at first, need to get some rest, okay? So, like, almost three weeks of unstoppable road trip. Well, time to... To time to time to take a rest, you know. Uh, Floyd Bodriu Jr. Uh, bye, editor TMS. As Koylikan, thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you for super chat. And uh, bye, see you tomorrow. Fred uh, Sahin Saijad. Oh, welcome, welcome, guys. Jordan Wilkins, Jim Holy, bold move. Gabby Hyman. Okay, that? more likes to Vika, okay? For Sergey too, and for Vika, many. Awesome, tr awesome trip, awesome videos, and awesome family. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oli Garcia, uh, Son Fam, Joe Hernandez. Yes, hit the like buttons in the end. I would like to see Siberia too. Time in a bottle. Well, why not? Why not? Why not? Just follow for my channel and uh, yeah, like uh, I'm sure we will continue these road trips because, well, it's a little bit exhausting. Uh, it's becoming exhausting, but in the same time, it's all getting like cross covered, if I can say so, like cross compensated with the uh, uh, with the impressions that we are getting. This you saw your Halloween video last night, so fun. Yeah, that was a fun video. Can we do Vladivostok next, please? Well, who knows? The thing is, Vladivostok, it will require a real serious preparation because, let's say, uh, well, uh, when I've been to Vladivostok three years ago, it has taken for me uh, eight hours and 30 minutes to fly there. It's almost the same as I flew to New York City, you know, almost same distance. And uh, to go there, it's also not cheap. And especially if to go there with uh, my family, it's like all the expenses multiply. It's like X3, you know. And uh, I guess it makes no sense to go just to Vladivostok, you know. But uh, it's better maybe from Vladivostok to go, to go through the whole Russia. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will try to make something like, uh, yeah, like, uh, the fundraising again, and we will see. Luis Carlos Rocha, bye. DWDE 115, yeah, boy. Pavel Parshov, Volgograd, who knows? Pro Bona, Scott Wheeler, The Bear in Exile, Comrades Ronalds. See you in St. Petersburg in August. Enzo, Enzo, come. Thank you for all your videos. Alexander Y. Next, Sochi and uh, Krasnaya Poliana. You know, the trip to Sochi sounds exciting. Especially in a summertime, you know. Uh, time to chill and take time for you and your family. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, some people like concerning that uh, instead of enjoying uh, the time with my family, I have to film. Uh, but it's really, it's it's not exactly like that, because, look, uh, we are together, like, for 24 hours every day. 
Uh, but we film only like two, three hours. So yeah, I have enough of time to spend with uh, my family. Also, before to start filming, we actually uh, at first exploring the uh, this city just alone, just uh, in order uh, to be ready, like to what we are gonna show. You know, Marina Jezelin. Bye bye. Dipayan Gosh. Great series, great job, thank you. The Bear in Exile. Yeah, I need to rest and I will get a rest now. Okay, Maxim, bye, 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 friends. Was amazing. These two, thank you, Sergey and family changed of views of Russia. Yeah, like, you know, you know, even, even I, like, feel that uh, uh, I'm a little bit another person after visiting the Golden Ring of Russia, you know? It's it's really important. I think that it's important, especially especially for Russian people, uh, to travel around Russia and uh, to see it all. Uh, like uh, you know, you can be ethnically Russian and you can live in Russia, but if let's say all your life you're living in uh, somewhere, even even in a big city like Ufa, you really you really. Uh, don't have a uh, full understanding of what is, of what is, of what is Russia from the historical point of view. Okay, like everybody here about Suzdal, Vladimir, and uh, I don't know, Perislavl, Zaleski, Kostroma, Yaroslavl, from the history lessons, but when you actually come in here, you understand everything uh, more deep and in another way. You really like becoming uh, truly Russian when you're coming to the places like this. Okay, dudes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time to go sleep. Time to go sleep. Uh, we will continue making the videos and... Uh, we we will keep filming, uh, I guess, on our way to Ufa. Uh, thank you, thanks so much to the Baklikovs for an unforgettable tour experience. It uh, really felt that I was there in Russia. Awesome, awesome, big up, big time and huge time for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I I really I really. Uh, I really can say that uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys all this time, all this time, all this eight days and uh, ten days before that on a Volga trip, if I can say so, you watched, you watched all of these videos. It's it's great, it's great, and it's great that it was all happening live. I'm also really like uh, thankful to the technologists of these days that we can make it live, live. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love the live streams. Well, some people uh, seems like uh, didn't love the live streams, uh, but I love it. And I, I'm glad that most of you love it. Yeah, like some people unsubscribed because of the live streams. But, uh, well, first, you have to understand that uh, it's just such a time. It's, uh, it's a road trip, you know, so it's easier to make the live streams, you know, and uh, you can't please everybody all the time. You know, if you, if you don't like that live streams are too long, especially when you're watching this as the recording, you just sometimes fast forward, you know, but uh, actually, during the live streams, I give even more information than if I would give it uh, just in a regular video, in an edited video, produced video. But, you know, so many people, I understand that wants just to see everything. They want to feel the uh, geometry, geometry, uh, like, of everything. And they want to know uh, how really, how, how how really long time it takes to go from here and there and to see everything uncut. Uh, those who need, they can fast forward in some moments, 
you know, so it likes gives uh, a, a better understanding of the space around of uh, the time, of uh, time, space. Um, so it's, it's great. I think that uh, in live streams there is an advantages and some disadvantages. The disadvantages that for some people it may seem long, but an advantage that you actually can see just everything, just everything. Okay, dudes, uh, thank you very much. Now I really go. I can say that I think this trip was absolutely awesome. Golden Ring of Russia. Thank you for watching, for commenting, for liking, and of course for contributing as here as on uh, realrussiablog.com slash golden ring. Thank you all very much, very much. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow in Ufa, in our village Totemen. Yes. Okay, bye for now. Albinochka. Bye for now. Albinochko. Он поправил волосы. Всем пока. Ah, she said goodbye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye. It was a great tour. No great. fake, no bullshit. Great tour. Amazing. Unique experience here. Our lives. It's really cool. Goodbye. Love. Love from Russia. Love from, from Russia. Russia with love. Yes, from Russia with love.